Hey, man. Hey. Uh, what are you doing? Just reading, reading, exclaim. Is that the like, list of interviews or whatever? Yeah. Like, what was my most memorable day job? Tricky. Stealing. Nice. <laughs> That's awesome. Until you put that on a resume, though. <laughs> yeah. That's what my resume looks like. Oh, man. Uh, I've been having these dreams lately. Tiring me out so much. This, this little kid keeps asking me to, like, take him to a lighthouse, and it's just... <laughs> it's, like, every night, and I don't... I don't know how to deal with that. Cool. Man, I have a really, really hard time sleeping. Yeah? Yeah, no, I've actually been reading a lot about sleeping recently. It's really, it's really interesting. Like, there's lots of stuff. Like, I actually read about they're, they're doing experiments on cats mm -hmm. to, um, so that they can still move when they're asleep. No. And they've, yeah, and they've, and they've watched the cats, uh, they run around and they, they actually practice hunting, like, in their sleep. That's so Isn't cool. That crazy? That's no. such, like, a... Yeah, productive way. Yeah, like, wish I could practice guitar in my sleep. Yeah, it could do so much. <laughs> That's so funny. Like, it makes sense, because, I mean, your, like, your muscles, everything responds to sleep. Like, your, like, your eyes follow, like... Yeah, like, totally. Yeah, it's really cool, too, because, um, it's the same with your ears. They've actually managed to measure, you know, your eardrums moving in time with the things that you're hearing inside your dream. So cool because you could potentially record what you're actually hearing, you know. Because like being able to take in information, you can actually like broadcast it out too. And you know, if you had a you know future tech enough microphone, a crazy enough microphone, you could actually you know see what people are hearing inside their dreams by like measuring the muscles, their drums moving and stuff. Dang, I know it's so cool. That's awesome. I know. I want to hear what I'm. I'm about. Yeah, like what, what would that even sound like? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Would, would it be would it be like musical or would it be yeah. noise or ringing or like that's so cool? Yeah, and often like my dreams tend to have a lot of sounds, a lot of weird stuff kind of going on with that. Yeah, I find. <laughs> do you want to like come see? Yeah, sure. Uh, like so many times, like I'll fall asleep like while I'm listening to something, yeah. and then it'll just this is not big enough. <laughs> I'll fall asleep like while I'm listening to something and then it'll come in. Sometimes the words are like all mixed up though. So or you always have those like those ideas like you know in the, the little time between sleeping and yeah you know you have like those musical ideas and you kind of end up dreaming them a little bit too. Yeah. <laughs> Be a great way to record ideas. I, I never have my recorder handy you know. Yeah I really wish I had like a notepad or something. Yeah. It's good to keep one by your bed, because then you can remember your dreams better if you write them down. So good. I was actually talking to her the other day about how, you know, it's funny, like, where the line is between, you know, what our senses are. We just take in information, our brain interprets it. So it's funny if you draw the line between experiencing things in real life and in your dreams, because it's, the difference is, like, so subtle, you know, it's like the difference between being a man and a woman is like one chromosome, right? Yeah. Well, the difference between experiencing something in a dream in real life, like you're still feeling those feelings, and you still have dreams where you hear things and touch things and do things, so it's like, yeah. where's that line between having actually done that thing and... It totally makes sense, I mean, it's just like information, it's just like coming from a different part. Yeah. Like, rather than like coming from my hands, it's coming from like... Yeah, the cave or whatever. So cool, yeah, the cave. <laughs> the Plato cave. Yeah. Really, that's cool, if you're, if you're having the same dream all the time, like, like it must mean something, like... You know, you should, you should do it. <laughs> you should take the kid to the, to the lighthouse. I don't know where it is. Yeah, <laughs> well, I mean, that's maybe something you're gonna have to work out. Mm -hmm. Try writing it down, then you can start to gain, uh, you know, ability to make decisions and kind of become a bit lucid and... Yeah. Kind of. You know, I would, it's probably, they say imageries and, you know, dreams is just different facets of yourself. So probably there's, you know, some part of you needs to be taken to the lighthouse, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I just read Virginia Woolf, so it's, you know... Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> Lighthouses, they can mean anything.
I'm going to bed though. Yeah. I'll catch you later. Yeah.